So here we have the Volvo V40 on a 64 plate. So I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge. Uh, then we have the coolant temperature gauge, the speedometer, the rev counter, and over on the right-hand side, uh, a gear shift indicator. Uh, in the dead center, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 108,320. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, first of all, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and over on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. You'll only be able to choose the phone controls once you pair up the phone, which is done over on the screen in the center just here, uh, using the buttons down here. So you'd press the telephone button, for example, to get to the phone menu. This dial will take you through various options on the screen and you can hit OK or go back a page from here. Uh, so we have the phone menu open in front of us, as you can see. When it comes to music in this car, we of course have got the radio. And as you'll see on there, we have DAB radio available. We've also got AM and uh, FM as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your radio, but you can also listen to your own music under the media heading. And as you can see, you've got Bluetooth audio available. Uh, so lots of ways to listen to your music. Again, all of which are accessed uh, via the buttons up on here, including satellite navigation, which is a nice clear color display. Very easy system to use. You can see in the bottom left and right hand corners of the screen, the temperatures being displayed. They are adjusted from here so you can select left or right and adjust the temperature so we're adjusting right press the button again to adjust left when you're happy with that and the temperatures you set you can increase and decrease the fan speed from here you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and then this button will turn your air conditioning off in this case or back on again or simply hit auto the car will now maintain the temperatures for you by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air hear it doing that in the background any manual adjustment will override that straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings here as well we've also got heated driver and passenger seats available we can turn off the stop and start this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel you can turn the system on and off from down here and we have a six speed manual gearbox as well all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.